Hi, it's Matt from CoolMarketingSoftware.com. Hey, we have got some new free software for you. Actually, it's our old free software that we've completely redone in Python instead of the UBOT system. It is called Expired Tumblr Hunter. And what this does is that it finds Tumblr blogs that are already ranked for your keywords in Google and Bing, and then finds the ones that you can register for yourself because what happens is that sometimes people just let their blogs expire for whatever reason they don't want to use it anymore but it's still ranked in google or bing and that can really help your seo why not get a web 2.0 property that is already ranked for your keywords rather than starting from scratch and there's tons of them out there so that is what this software does. But before I go on, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be the first to know about new free software that we have coming out. Just click the subscribe button below. Thanks so much. All right. So how does it work? It's really simple. Uh, what you do is you type in your keywords here. So say you're looking for personal injury attorneys. Okay, turn you type some keywords in here. Um, injury lawyer, motorcycle accident lawyer. Okay, you can start off with like three. That's enough. You can go on forever with this, but you want to stay targeted. Um, and they're going to find quite a bit, quite a few blogs. So then you 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 have to choose how many pages. You will of Bing. We use Bing with this that you want to search. You know, to start off, try three. Then you can do up to ten. If you did like twenty pages, it really they they wouldn't really even relate much to your keywords anymore. So these would be the better ones up here. This is up to you. Now you do need Chrome installed on your computer. So you need Windows eight point one or later. If you don't have a, have that, even if you have a Mac, you can use a Windows Remote VPS. And I'll put an article in the description below on how you can do that workaround. Even if you're, you know, not, don't have a Mac, uh, uh, you can use use a Windows Remote VPS. I use them all the time, and I use Windows. But in any case, you need a Windows machine, uh, whether it's the remote one or your own 8.1 or later. This is, runs on Python, and that's what you need for Python. And that's it. This is free software. Okay, you, don't, you can uh, get this, by the way, by joining our newsletter below. Just click the link below, join our newsletter. You get this and like $597 worth of other software. So you've got this here. You got your keywords. You're going to search three pages of Bing and you click start hunting. And you see this little black screen uh, pop up. Just ignore that. Uh, and it doesn't doesn't mean anything. So now you see it's going through, it's opening up Chrome and it's going through Bing and it's searching for Tumblr blogs that have are already ranked for personal injury type of keywords. According to the keywords I had, you see, here's a blog here, here's a blog. Here. These are all Tumblr blogs and it's going to go through. We can see the software here and it's going to let you know how many blog usernames that it's scraping because that is what it's scraping is blog usernames so here it says scraping personal injury lawyer it's going to go for this first keyword and go through three pages of findings and then it's going to skip over here now we're already on the second one because we're only doing three pages personal injury lawyer then it's going to go to motorcycle accident lawyer you can see now we've scraped 38 different blogs now what it's going to do is going to save these blog usernames at c colon backslash expired tumblr hunter it's going to be on your c drive that's where the software is uh, located when you install it so look we got all these names so far we've got over 80 of them at, at this time it's still doing it so that's where they're located. And then what it's going to do is going to find the ones that are valid. That may be one or two or none. It depends on your search. And then you can go and register the valid ones because these are all ones that are live. And now it's going to go ping these and it's going to see which ones you can register. 
So now it went ahead and pinged a bunch of these and we didn't find any here. Yep, that's not a problem. That just means, hey, let's just increase the search a bit. So I'm gonna do this and let it go a little bit. Maybe add a few more keywords and we'll find some. All right, so here I added a bunch of keyword phrases. You can come down here, all right? Whole bunch of them. And I went five pages and I found 256 blog usernames, but then it went and pinged. And if you watch the program, it'll say pinging, you know, uh, blog names. And it'll ping all of these and it'll see which ones uh, actually don't ping and then are available to re-register. And then it'll actually check and see if it's available to register. It'll open up Tumblr and you'll see it. So it looks like we found one username. So we found one username. It'll be in a file in the, uh, in the expired Tumblr Hunter folder on your C drive and you'll come and so, okay, so we found one. So let's go and we can go to Tumblr and register this. So I'm going to go here to Tumblr. I'm going to click sign up, put my email address. So I've got this username, Athens Attorneys. If I was someplace called Athens, well, um, you know, that would be a, a real good one. This is already indexed. And I click sign up. It'll ask, how old are you? So, so this is really a good thing. Um, because when it asks you, how old are you? That means you're good to go. That uh, this is going to be a good name. So I'll just put this. I'll click next and here we go, man. I have registered this blog so I can go in and I can start writing, you know, let's write some text, you know, I am the best uh, accident lawyer in Athens, Georgia, whatever make a post and now I've got a blog. Of course I put better content on it than that, but now I've got a blog that's already ranked in Bing for my keywords and I, it's up to me to develop it. I could put links back to my main website and I've got a, you know, a keyword ranked blog on Tumblr, a very highly ranked site, web 2.0 uh, property. And that would be great. Those would be great backlinks from my main website. If I have a website, uh, you know, for attor attorneys in Athens, Georgia, or Athens somewhere. And that's how you can you know, build your SEO by having quality backlinks, or you could just make a like, really good blog based on those keywords right on Tumblr. And so that is the basic process. A short one right now, just so I can show you the process in, in a faster time period. So now it's scraping just one page. It's found seven blog names and it's going to go to status pinging next. It's going to ping them after it is scraped. Now it's pinging. So it's checking to see if these are live and I don't expect to find one just going through one page and only 12 usernames, but this gives you the idea of the process. It's going to ping and then it's going to see if there's any usernames available. Right now you can see it's checking to see if this blog name can be is available and that was the sign that it is actually available so in this other search here i've got two two blog names i did it in another keyword search i wanted to show you what it was like when they actually found a candidate a blog username that was available or potentially available and they the software will open up tumblr and see if they get that how old are you message so now that we've got two, now we've got two from this search and I've done 10 pages and um, I found two out of 346. So you might have to do this a while. You know, this is Tumblr Hunter. It, you can know, it'll just all do it with one click of the button. You just come back and see how many you have um, according to your keywords. So, you know, uh, right now, like I said, we have two out of the 346. You probably have a better chance of finding them if you go 10 pages deep, all right, because they're, you know, buried further down in the searches, but probably higher quality ones are going to be first 
two, uh, second and third pages. So it might take you longer to find those, but those will be higher quality ones because they're ranked higher in the search engines. And you could just do a ton of keywords and just find uh, ones that are ranked on the first page. It might take you a while. Okay. But just so you can know what the different strategies might be for this software. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about troubleshooting. Okay. The biggest problem you're going to have if you find, Hey, it just doesn't work. What's going on is that, uh, your, uh, Chrome version of Chrome you have does not match the Chrome driver. And that's really easy to solve. So the first thing you need to do is because this uses your Chrome browser. So the first thing you need to do is come up here, click the three dots on Google Chrome and I'll go to help and go to about Google Chrome. And right here, you'll see the version that you have 96.0.4. Then you go to download latest Chrome driver. Okay. You're going to come to this page and you're going to download that version. Now notice it's 96. They have a 97 out there. They haven't even updated the browser yet and uh they have a 97 so it's not always the the latest one so we have 96 so you come down here you download the one that says 32 you come here and then you unzip this with whatever program you have okay and come you copy this and you go to your c expired Tumblr Hunter folder. Okay, here we go. And you click paste and you copy and paste that in there. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but that's it. And it's the Chrome driver. So you have to have the Chrome driver version that matches the, uh, the Chrome version. So if, if you have, if it just doesn't work for whatever reason, uh, that's, that's 99% of the reason why. Another thing is we have another version in here that you can play with that also uses Chrome, but it does it everything in the background. So we can come here and it's the same exact thing, except this is not going to open up the Chrome browser. It's the headless version. So you can play with that. You got to go to your C colon black slash backslash expired Tumblr Hunter folder. And you see the version that says headless and that's that version. And we'll just do, you know, quick search and I'm still searching with the other one, you know, real quick. And this is going to still open up this black window, which you can just minimize or ignore. And it's going to hunt here, um, but it is not going to open up the Chrome browser. So it just did real quick there. Didn't do much. I only did one page, but it'll just keep going here. We just minimize this and it's going to go and you know do the same thing but it will not open the chrome browser so maybe you won't want to play with that so that's it that's expired tumblr hunter 3.0 we've completely revamped it it now is working so you can download this by joining our newsletter if you haven't done so uh, already join our newsletter and it'll be redirected to a page where you can download this and $597 worth of other software. We have a keyword scrapers. We've got classified ad submitters. Um, uh, we have a Google spinner. So there's a lot of software there that's free. You can download it to help with your SEO and also help uh, post ads for you. So you just click the link in the description below and join our newsletter and you can get that. We also would like to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And like I said, you'll be the first to know when we come up with new free software. Thank you so much. This is Matt with coolmarketingsoftware.com.